Hello. Oh, let me turn on this light here. Um. So, there we go. I'm doing a recording. If you can't hear, I'm sick. <laughs> um. So I'm probably not going to do anything on Tuesday. So I just wanted to go through and um. I wanted to a be able to pause when I needed to blow my nose, <laughs> and b I wanted to show you guys the pages I've completed since I started uh, coloring. Um, so give me just a second to set up some stuff here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I began coloring um, when my youngest was a baby. <clears throat> so she's five now. So, she was a baby, and she was a screamer. And not like colic screaming. It was, hey, look, I make noise. Let's see how much noise I can make. And I had quit smoking probably three months before I got pregnant with her. So, I was still going through a lot of the, like, smoking withdrawals. So, her screaming... Seemingly inconsolably, but she wasn't like, didn't need consoling. She was just talking and it was just, it was like everything. And then I was a stay-at-home mom for the first time. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I had picked up one of these from Walmart one day. And I picked up the Crayola uh, Fine Liners. And so, I mean, this was the very first picture I colored. Um, it did, it, it probably took me six months or more, um, cause I would just sit down a little bit every day or not even every day, a little bit here and there. And this was the other one I did. And I think that was it. I think, yeah, I stopped after that. I decided I didn't like mandalas. Um, but I quit, I quit coloring for a little while because she was getting older she was actually talking instead of screaming and so though and she was walking so there's a whole or crawling and walking so there's a whole nother set of like issues I had to take care of in coloring and leaving coloring stuff out where a kid could get it was not in the cards that being said I then picked up I have it dated I actually have the very first I should have put that on top. And the very first picture I ever colored, i gotten some Prismacolor Premier pencils. I think I got a 72 set. Um, and so the date down here, I've dated all mine. The date down here is uh, January 25th, 2017. So I've only been coloring other than the markers. Um for a year and a half now. And it wasn't shortly long, or it wasn't very long until my daughter wanted to color, so I was coloring this. Um, that was in February. That was in April. So, between February and April, it's a nice jump. Um, this is one I colored with my daughter. This was also that same. It was that same day. Like we just went to town. We probably had a snow day that day. That's probably what that was. We had a snow day. I had bought her one as well. Um, and so we just went to town coloring. Um, Oh, I missed one. This is when I finally got some ink tents. Uh, so that was in April. I went pretty quick. Like, I went full bore into this. Not even gonna lie. Um, this I did when my nephew was in town recently. Um, so that was just last month. So, I've got a lot of, like, works in progress in here. This was for a color along. 
this I had an idea that didn't quite pan out um, I'm not sure what my idea was um, this I was trying to do I think I was trying to do some Derwent watercolor pencils and it just did not work out like I had an idea about the glowing stars and everything it just didn't work um, and I'm showing you these because some people are just, they come up and they're just like, oh, you're, you're so awesome, you know, you do such good work, and blah, 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 blah. And I appreciate those comments. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm really not feeling great. Um, I, I appreciate those comments. You have no idea how good that makes me feel. Uh, but Zargat says that every now and then. She's like, you don't see, you don't see what doesn't work. Um, so this didn't work. It just didn't. Um, you know, this hasn't worked right now. I'm trying to work on it, but I was trying to do something with some Derwent uh, watercolor pencils. I really didn't like them. These were uh, these were the Jasper Star paints, and I like the concept, but they're so milky. Like I don't know if you can see that. They're so milky. They're actually covering up the black lines, and I didn't like that. So, you win some, you lose some. Uh, so now I'm just going to go through pretty much everything that I've colored in the last year and a half. Here are some loose papers. Um, I did this on Express It blending paper uh, with Copic markers. This is from OJKI Pop Art. I love her pictures. I make sure that since it's a sleeve thingy. I'll sometimes put double-sided so I just make sure it wasn't one on the back. This is a printout from um, uh, Jowie Lim. And this was on watercolor, but not on watercolor paper. It was just on regular paper. And same with this. Watercolors. Some ink tents, it looks like. And then the foggy stuff is, um, I think I use gouache. <laughs> that was a, a gift from Bennett Klein. Um, I had won, I won something on his Facebook page. This was all Copic markers just on a regular um, 65 pound weight cardstock. I think it was last October. You can tell by the picture. Oops, sorry. And this is Fabrica Fantasy. Uh, did that back in April. That was that was all done with a uh, polychromos. And you guys saw me do this on on streams. So we finished that up not too long ago. So she's in her little binder thing. You guys saw me work on this. This is the finished. I don't know if you can see through the plastic, but there is so much shiny stuff on there. So much glitter pen, and I used the uh, I used glitter pen. I used the what is that? The glaze, the glaze pen on like the window areas in this little like hood thingy. Okay. So here's Die Welt unter der Loop zu Wasser by Rita Berman. And I did this while uh, Zoe was at soccer camp this summer. All nice and shiny with those shiny um, gelatos, those metallic gelatos. And then some gel pens and stuff. And I actually got the Pablos right as I was finishing this up. And so I did uh, I did the fishy. The rest was with uh, Koei Norris. And then I did this little watercolor guy with probably some, uh, some uh, polychromos. I thought this was fun. I like that ink splatter look. So I just continued it. That was back in March of this year. Uh, 
Uh, Die Welt unter der Loop Zulande by Rita Berman. I did some of this on uh, on streams, so I was using. I I think I used everything on here: luminance, polychromos. I forget what else I used. I used a lot of stuff. Um. Holbein's, that's right, I used Holbein's too. So that was back in April. I haven't done anything else in this book at all. I should though, it's a cute book. I did this one winter. This is the Katz, uh, Jen Katz as a holiday booklet thingy. It's cute, it's got um, some, some cool stuff in it. Some like wrapping paper type stuff. There was greeting cards in there. Just some cute little cute little stuff. And then these are tags that I, co I colored and I did these all with um, I think I did them all with the Derwent watercolor pencils. So it was super cute. I like the really soft. I didn't date them because I was going to cut them out. So I know it was this last winter. So and this is a book I got while I was at my mom's house one time. I hadn't brought anything. Or I'd only brought one book and I didn't feel like coloring in it. So I got this book. Um, and, and colored this with polychromos. Uh, the paper did not like polychromos at all. Oh, so this was for the girl's birthday because it was um, in July was it of last year. Yeah, 2017 last year. So the polychromos did not like this paper at all. Uh, so it was really difficult to get a good color on there. I mean, these are some very gorgeous pictures and it even has the name of the uh, butterfly or moth that's on the page. Um, so, some very gorgeous pictures. I just haven't gotten around to doing much in it. I should though, it's so pretty. Moonlit Veil. I finally found it. I thought I'd lost it, so I bought the PDF version. This is actually signed by the author. Um, and this I did all with Tombow markers. Um, it did warp a little bit on the edge here. I don't know if you can tell, but that's really kind of curved there. Uh, it warped. I don't know why. I didn't put that much on, but good to know. And then I, I was using the, uh, the protector sheet. Oh, I forget what this is called. Magical Delights by uh, Clara Markova. I hear she's coming out with another book, so that's awesome. This I had started um, back in September of last year. I only just technically, no. I must have finished it in September last year. Gosh, time flies. So it's been a year. This is what Polychromos. Um, this was when I got my Lyra's. Love, 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 love. So that was January of this year. Love my Lyra's in this. I've got some other stuff going on. Like that was a failed watercolor attempt over some gesso. What's this? Oh, I still need to finish this girl. I love this girl. I need to finish her. I was using I was using my libraries. Okay. So I need to finish this girl. It's kind of pretty. Uh, Sagalik by uh, Emil Lillehall Oberg. I've only done this page. I think I even did some of it on stream. 
I'm sorry, I did this on stream. This is the Mungo Pastels back there. Um, and then this was me testing absolutely every medium I own. And I was doing gouache and watercolor on there. So, you want to know what goes through. Only four different things. And of course, it was the Pro Markers um, and the Copics and the Sharpie and the Sharpie and big marking. So, you know, everything you think would go through. Everything else worked out pretty good. It's Magical Dawn. I have two of them. This is the first. Is this the older one? No, this is the newer one. This is the one I did as a color along tutorial these three bouquets I haven't done anything else in this book yet I keep as you can see even though I've sprayed um, you can see there's still purple on on the paper so I've got this going but I really like that page and then Oh goodness, I didn't put a sticky for her. Shame on me. I finished her finally. Just last month. I enjoyed coloring her. She was fun. Did not like Lyra's on this paper. I mean, it was okay, but not my favorite. Tenderful Enchantments. This is a color along I did with May. And this is right around the time that May had said something pretty profound. I'm did I not date this? <gasps> Shame on me. I did not date it. Usually it would be somewhere in this corner. It was somewhere around this time that May told me something that I couldn't repeat if I tried, but and it, it clicked, and so then I figured out how I wanted my color palettes to go. This is another one I did mostly with Neo Color 2s, and then I took uh, um, Polychromos and went over some stuff. That was uh, last January. And just to show you the not so good, this is my tester. I was trying to watercolor a cool little background and everything worked out very well. I've got a line here, I've got some severe lines over here. It all dried too fast, I didn't put enough water on it, but I didn't want to put too much water on it because I didn't want to bleed through. And this was another attempt at ink tensing, but I'm not entirely pleased with it. Alright, here's a jewelry box, right? Yeah, jewelry box. And because May is a sweetheart. So I did this all with watercolor. I was trying some... I did like three different layers of background color. So I did a really light green and then a medium green and then I did a darker green. And this was all with my Mission Gold watercolors. This was a test page. I was testing out gesso and and stuff like that. So you guys saw me do this on stream. Ended up, I think, very cool. And I plan on using this background on the current um, double page spread I'm working on. What is this one? I'm always curious to know why I have flags somewhere. Sometimes they're for nothing, like this. I think I was just like, ooh, that's a cool page. Tide Bar or Seasons. Um, let's see, this is the only page I've done in here, and this was done with. Um, I don't remember. I know it's got Prisma colors on it. I know those are. Maybe it's all Derwent Art Bars. Maybe. I didn't think I had a yellow. I could be wrong. That, so that's that. 
my daughter got a hold of it. Super awesome. I was working on a tutorial. I forget who I was watching. Was it Shine Bright Designs? It might have been. I was working on putting a blue undertone into the skin. And then I did this as a watercolor base and I still haven't finished it. That's my problem is I get so easily distracted by other things. All right, sorry about that. I had to get a cough drop. My throat is sore. Um, and if I'm very quiet, I'm so sorry. In my head, I sound like I'm screaming. So. My cute little froggy guy I did when I first got hit, got this. I don't even remember what pencils I was using. So this was around my birthday. That was probably my birthday present last year. I'm trying to think. I don't remember what pencils. Usually I can remember just by looking at it. This I don't. I don't know. I royally screwed this up. Like, I love all of this. And then I went and put red and bright yellow. And I'm so mad at myself. Like, I'd probably get away with this yellow. This orangey yellow. I'm, like, so upset. I know I shouldn't be upset, but I'm like really upset and I may have bought another Magical Dawn just because I screwed this up. I'm not saying that's the only reason, but it was a good reason for me because everything else I adore. I adore. I was using um, Neo Color 2s and I was using um, uh, whole lines. I was using whole lines to go in over top of it and loved everything about this bit and then I got up here and I was just like oh I'm just gonna screw it up <sighs> that's how it goes and this I did as a color to as a one color challenge I could only pick one color um, and so I picked an orange and I stuck with like Spanish orange and the rest was in I'll say it was French gray so I was using uh, Prismacolor Where's my date? There it is. See, I date everything. I date everything. It helps. Because otherwise I can't remember. I did this um, back when Jessica was streaming on Ustream. In uh, May of 2017. What's this one? Oh, this was another screw up. I had, I had totally messed that up. I had an idea, I had a palette, and I was using the Tombow Erositans. I had a palette in mind and everything, but I screwed it up. And then I was trying a galaxy background when Anne was doing the, the um, mentor program. I was doing, this is what I did. Um, my mentor was showing me, but like, I got it all over the place and it's like all seeped in because I soaked it too much in the middle. But oh well, stuff happens. You don't have to like everything you do, ever. You don't ever have to like anything you do. But when you do do something you like, love it. Because I don't always like everything I do. This was all in watercolors, and then my cat decided to, like, step right there and add her own little print to it. So this is all ink tents and Albert Duros. Not a single regular pencil. It's all, all watercolor. And then I think all of this is just, yeah, this is just, oh, I'd like to color that page. Do I want to color that page? And Twilight Garden by Maria Troll. 
This was all done with erosia tins, and I realized I really hate erosia tins. This is the only paper I ever got them to work well on. This was, I just got my Neo Color 2s, and I was watching Katrine um, do all of her little background stuff, and I was like obsessed with it, so I did a whole bunch in here. Just pre-did the backgrounds. No big. Um, this I did with Neo 2s. And I did a Neo 2 base on some of it. Except for this bird. And I was using Prismacolors. And Prismacolors do not like this paper. Like it was very. I had to fight. <laughs> this was all Neo Color 2s. All of it. Except for the gold. The gold was a gel pen. Everything else was Neo Color 2s. What's that? Oh, this was a watercolor background that I did, but never did anything with. And I missed a spot, and now I don't remember what blue I was using. This was Anxiety Art Adventure was doing a pink and green challenge, and this is probably with the Erogitins. I can almost guarantee it. This is uh, another one of those backgrounds gone wrong. Sorry, I really am blowing my nose like every five minutes, and it's it's ridiculous. That's why I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I just can't. This was done mostly with Durant Graffy Tint pencils, so the water-soluble Graffy Tints, and then Durant um, watercolor pencils. I was on a kick for that for a while. And then, oh... I was doing ink tents. I was trying out some sunflowers. Didn't work out. I should go over it with pencil. That'd probably help. But I got other stuff I want to do. That's the problem. I always got other stuff I want to do. And PV Soaker and Vaughn. By Maria Troll. This is the only page I've done. This is all ink tents. This is a. Uh, July of last year. Yeah, that's all I've done in that one. Now let's go to this pile. This is the Grim Fairy Tales book. There's a lot of different artists in here, so I don't know which artist drew what. Um, but like, these are all the artists' names. Love these books. They're awesome. Uh, this is the only page I've done in here so far. This was Pablo's in the background, and then Pablo's in the skin, and Pablo pants, and then I use super tips markers for the brown and the red. Pablo's for the hair. I really enjoyed this one. This one was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. I did. I liked it a lot. Where's my date? There it is. Last year. Always date your stuff. It's fun to go back and look, you know? Uh, this is the volume two I got for Christmas this year. And this is the picture I did. Um, most, Some of it at my mom's, the rest of it here at home. So I had had my Koei Noirs with me. So I did the mummy and the Koei Noors, and then she is done in pro color, Durant pro color. And then the background is just a, it's a mix of two different colored pastels, and then I took the pro color and did some outlining. But I liked this one. This is another good book. I really love these. Um, they can be a little risque, but that doesn't actually bother me. Um, so, but I think some of the pictures are awesome. Let's see, Jasmine Beckett Mermaids, I haven't colored out of it, this book nearly enough, this is the only one I did, and this I did when I got it, it was the base of Copics, 
the Copics I had at the time and some of the Pro Markers, I'm sure. Um, and then over top was um, Prismacolor because uh, Prismacolor is one of the few pencils that work just about everywhere, but polychromos don't necessarily work very well in this in this book on this paper. So, but I've got another one I'll show you. So that was October of last year. It's almost been, almost been a year. Jeez. And I thought this was the height of my work. Like, I thought I was hot stuff. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it in the least. Um, but I remember being very proud of this. Tell you what, kids, kids give you the germs. It's no joke. So the Jasmine Beckett Halloween. Um, I haven't colored much out of here except for Autumn here. And this again was a base of Copics with um, Prisma color over top. Let's see. I like showing the back. The back always looks fun. You can see what I didn't like. I didn't put any markers on those. I didn't put any marker back there. So you can see stuff like that. I think it's fun. I don't think I've done anything else in here. Been too, too apprehensive. I shouldn't be, but I have been. This is um, Dreams of Dragons and Dragon Ken by Raving Phelan. Phelan. But it's uh, printed by the same people that print the Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. It's the same paper. And this is the one that I said I've done polychromos in here and it doesn't work very well. I mean, it turned out okay. I like it. I think it's pretty. Um, but I don't think it, it worked out very well. Like, I remember having to fight had to fight a little bit with my paper and I don't like fighting with my paper so uh, I can't even begin to pronounce this the Carolina Kubikowski Kubikowska book that everybody was going bonkers for uh, when it came out it's a gorgeous book I love just flipping through it um, and this was with my Zig clean color before I handed, got in my new set and handed my set off to my kids. Um, and this is pre-printed like this. So this was pre-printed and then I colored over here. And this was all watercolor. Um... Well, sometimes with the zig, sometimes not. I kept stuff very loose because um, it seems the style. Again, zigs. This is coming apart. This is all um, Prismacolor because somebody wanted to know how Prismacolors went on here. Eh, I would much rather watercolor. Um, and this is printed. And then this is another one I did. Very, very big, very just loose very loose loosey goosey I love her work like I just I just look at it I don't even need to color it I could just like look at it it's gorgeous but I do want to take my um, my zigs now that I've got the full set and go through this and really do this and I mean just think of color on this page right Anyway, I'm not here to flip through like that. I'm here to do Alice's Nightmare Adventures in Wonderland by Shala and Mugat. She has two books. I actually have both books, but this is by far the absolute worst freaking paper I've ever colored on. Ever. I used everything. I used, this is Prismacolor. And so some of this, but like I had to get in there and just like blend to smooth it out. And then the rest of this is like, I tried some polychromos and that didn't work. I tried some pro color and that didn't work. I tried, I tried every pencil I owned on this page. And I'm just, it was just, I was fighting it so much that it wasn't worth it. 
it just was not worth it so um yeah it's a creepy book like it's no joke like it's kind of creepy they're all one-sided though but i think it's cool like i like it i mean like look at the cheshire cat cheshire cat is creepy so like but i love this book i just I haven't found a way to color in it that suits me. Lizzie Mary Collins Magical City. This is the only one I've done in it with the ink tents. I did this last year. I was working on this one too. Hyde Park. Another Carolina Kubikowska Ticket to Dreams. Again, watercolor. Very beautiful. Very, very thick paper. Like, unbelievably thick. Um, and then this one I did with um, Luminance. I did this with Luminance. I was just curious. And some shiny any stuff well fine just fall that's okay Fantasia by Nick Filbert we all know him this I did purely in um I think this is when I got my Derwent um pastels pastel pencils all underwent pastels I have not sprayed it maybe I have sprayed it the one oh I kept that on because of the black the black was still coming up but I enjoyed doing that that was fun I really like I really enjoy doing um pastel pencil work uh, let's see the other one I've done is this one it's been a while now um, I used everything on this polys prismas you name it and I did date it 6 2017 okay let's see a Walk in Eden. This was just me testing out my Derwent Artist pencils. I hate them. <laughs> I really don't like them. They're too hard. Like, I like a hard pencil, don't get me wrong. But that was ridiculous. That was super ridiculous. I don't think I've touched anything else in here. The Story of Pandora. By Kim Sun Hyun. I think I've only done one little bit. I didn't even date this. This is with Derwent watercolor pencils. I was just trying to figure out what worked best in these little itty bitty things. I think I've done one or two other. No, maybe not in this one. I have a different. I have Wonderland. And I did a little cupcake. The Time Chamber. It's the only page I've done in it. Even though I still haven't done the matching page. That was a lot, a lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. I would go back and make it all darker. Like I would... I would change it up so much. But I appreciate it for the, the work I did put into it. And I used a lot of blending. I used Gamsol on this page a lot. Which you can't tell by the back page. But I used a lot of Gamsol. Fairies in Dreamland by Denise Collette. Did the Bongs 2 page. This was probably all with Neo Color 2s. I usually tell when I do that. 
mostly with neo color twos and some uh, big marking as evidenced by the uh, back of the sheet this was a mess up I didn't put enough pigment down at least I know what I did I haven't finished that yet my idea is not coming out very well I didn't like that this is the only time I use color soft and I hated every minute of it I did I hated it so much but I love the I like I love how they turned out and then that was like Copics and stuff on her autumn scenes you guys saw me finish this up on stream all with uh, markers Copics, Bix, Sharpies if I had it I used it Tombos don't like Tombos on this but oh well it's one of my ivies the one I've colored the most in I haven't done the intro pages or anything but I have done this little girl that was October of last year or when it came out you know this is the first page I did so I did this and then I did the girl oh I only just barely paused it in time to sneeze and then I did these this double spread I'm doing this book pretty much in order background was done with the Derwent art bars and then up here I used pretty much solely the um, Stedler Ergo Softs that was fun I did some of that on the stream Wonder Room big old Wonder Room I did this page I did a gold tutorial for this and I did this and then I finished this page no I finished this page but not this page so I'll finish him up soon soon I don't know what I want to do with him yet but I'll finish him up his daydreams by Anna Carlson. So when I first got my polychromos, I was testing them out. I was trying something with the Derwent. But the Derwent what? What was I doing? Maybe the watercolor. This was all watercolor. A light palette. What are these? Oh, this was with the Derwent Artist pencils. Hated. Haven't finished this yet. I need to. Polychromos and uh, ink tents. And then the background is the Neo Color 2s. This was all done with the um, pastel pencils and then water. To set it. That's a whip. Well, oh, I didn't pause that. My bad, guys. I wasn't fast enough. My nose was running too fast. I did this for an underwater challenge. I think it was um, Katrine that was doing it. This was all Neo Color 2s. Every bit of it. And then some gel pen. And some shiny bits. I was pretty proud of this. Um, and then this is what I'm currently working on. If you guys haven't seen 
the uh, latest. I'm I'm pretty stinking proud of this, that's for sure. What was I doing back there? Oh, I was just messing around. That needs to stay because I need to work on it as soon as I feel better and can actually like lean over my stuff and not have my nose drip. Uh, Serene by Nick Filbert. These have all been Buddy Colors with May and or other people. So May and Sammy and then May and Katrina. We're doing one now. Or Katarina. I liked this. This is fun. I did a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not a fan of her. She didn't turn out how I wanted her to. But that's okay. She's still pretty. Love this. This is so much fun. Turned out really good, I think. This one did with Sammy. I think this turned out really good, too. I think that's it. And then just the one I'm currently working on. I still need to finish up. So that gets set. So I can work on that. It's the Colin Thompson Fantastic Mabuk. Um, I'm doing a lot of watercolor stuff. Um, this is all watercolor. This I did all with um, Stabilo Carbothello pastels. I did not like them. I did not like them. This was interesting to do, this Bone City. It was kind of cool. What else am I working on? Oh, I was watercoloring this guy too. Oops. Minuet de Bonheur. Nice watercolor. That was fun. This was all ink tents and watercolor and pencils. and I did like a step-by-step -step on my Instagram. I'm probably ticked a few people off, but oh well. It was Dirty Bird. Started on the happy birthday one. What else I got going? Oh, I was doing this on live stream once. I still haven't finished that. I was using my uh, hydras. I had an idea for this and it didn't really work out. Pencils don't work very well on this paper in my opinion. In my opinion, of course. Uh, Forest Girls Coloring Book by A. Paul. A. Paul. Mm, I've only done this one. It was super fun though. I really liked it. I was experimenting here and then working on Tess with this. I still haven't finished it. I don't know if Tess has either. I should ask her. Hey Tess, did you finish that? Uh, Pop Manga by Camilla de Erico. I've only done one in here. This was super fun. It was uh, Prisma Colors and Mungo Pastels. Mungyo. Ooh. Dave's asking the good questions. Uh, I'll have to think about that. Alright, so if y'all don't know, there's a hurricane headed towards the coast of the Carolinas. and We're trying to figure some stuff out. So this is my first Zemdus Nova. My beloved first Zemdus Nova. I have three of them. I've started coloring in the second one, um, but I haven't finished anything in it yet. But this was all ink tents. And these are my tester pages. Oh, I'm still working on that. That's whole binds. I don't like whole binds on this paper. This was. Prismacolors, and then when my Koei Noor came in, I did the blue, 
I did the houses basically with the Koei Norris when they came in. I kind of like it. Try doing where the sunset. Etc. Just trying out Tombows. Didn't really work out. This is a uh, joint artist. I hate the artists. I hate the artists. Alright, so finished this girl. I really liked her. She turned out really good. My flaggy is getting not so sticky. I enjoyed her. This was a rose gold that I thought turned out really good. Getting some of my color combos that I really like down. This was a failed experiment in an Aurora Borealis. Did not work out. This was starting with some Tombows. This was Koinor's. I'm not digging. This was fun. This one was super fun. I enjoyed coloring this one. The the skin especially. And believe it or not, that's this is all polychromos. But it's earth greens in there. And some chrome oxide green. It's really cool. I was doing with the limited palette. It was super cool. I enjoyed I enjoyed this a whole lot. Some more trying to work it out. Some more trying to work it out. These two I finished. This was Ink Tense and Derwent Artists. It's one of the first pages I colored in this. And then this one's another Derwent or uh, Ink Tense. Oh, that gold really shows up, doesn't it? Ooh. Yeah, it does. Can't even tell what's under there. That's pretty cool. And Bob and Bessie. My two little dragons. I love them. I love them. I love the color combos I ended up pulling out of this these two I pulled some really good color com like those that green combo that I'm currently using out of the polychromos that I pulled it from this page this is where it really like came from that's why my pencils are so small it's from this is that it yeah and then I'm just working on the one with the Arteza pencils I'm not I'm not enjoying it anymore so we'll see we'll see what I choose to do foxes and fairies by Meredith Dillman this is the only page I did these with Derwent artists the only paper I found the Derwent artists worked well on I think I tried I tried doing um Copics, but I was getting so many lines in there. It was just ridiculous. So, and I had an idea for this one. But, we'll see if I do it. And then, Doodle Invasion from Zifflin and Kirby Rosanne. This is the only page I did. As you can see, I didn't do a whole lot. I just kind of went and colored. I didn't feel like doing a whole lot of anything, and so I just, uh, I just colored, and colored to color. But again, let's create space paper, and I didn't feel like doing anything. The Coloring Heaven Misfit Special. I always want to say Haven. And this is the only page I've done out of here. I love these sisters. They're so pretty. That green. I love it. I think it came out very well. It was Copics and Prismacolors. Come on now. See? 
Copics and Prismacolors. Super cool. Some Linda Ravenscroft. This is the first book. Um, I've started this. I haven't quite finished it. So, but I've done this. This was in watercolor, and I mixed all my own colors. So I had, I, I legit had two blues, two reds, two yellows, and I mixed all my colors. Then I used um, fine tech paint. So that was that was interesting. That was very cool to to try. And this is book number two. And this is all watercolor as well. I don't think I did any pencil work. I think this is strictly watercolor. But it wasn't the six. It wasn't the limited palette. It was whatever I had. Which was probably a Jane Davenport. So this is Imagimorphia by Kirby Rosans. Uh lovely skulls. I'll show you some of my mess ups. So this is, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I'm going to have to go around in black, but right now I've been using um, ink tents in here. It worked out pretty well. And then uh, this was ink tents with polychromos over top. This was a terrible giant ink tents mess. Very, very bad. I, I, don't know what I was thinking or why I was thinking it or why I thought it would be a good idea. I don't know. But there you go. It was in March of last year. This I did on stream-ish. Um, I was doing the gold Tombow. And then I forget what I used. Maybe I used Lyra's. Somebody said I hadn't colored the flowers or anything. I'm like, no, there's color on there, but I can see where it doesn't look like much, which is fine. I like it, so that's all that matters. Here's number one of the Mythomorphia. Oh, there go my books. This is my first Mythomorphia. The, the very first. I'll do some paint, some watercolor paints. This was all watercolor paints. I don't think this was. Maybe it was mixing my own palette. I haven't quite finished. This is the Green Man, and he was done with. Derwent, um, oh goodness, pastels, and I haven't sprayed it or anything, I've only just like rubbed it into the paper and that's it. This was a failed experiment, I don't put enough pigment down, that's my problem, as I, I worry I'm putting too much down and I don't put enough. Oh, this one doesn't have my Pegasus in it. Must be in another one. Uh, this was completely with um, ink tents. All of it. Every last bit of it was ink tents. The whole thing. I thought it turned out really nice. I was really proud of myself. It was a lot of work. A lot of work. Because I'd, I'd go in and I'd put a layer down. And then I'd let it dry. And I'd come in with a darker color. And let it dry. And then I come in with a darker color. Let it dry. I don't know what I was doing here. Rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. This is another failed experiment. I was using gesso. I put enough pigment down, but it was like just sliding everywhere. It was ridiculous. This was all with ink tents as well. All Derwent ink tents. Super fun. I like my I like my guy. I would do them again, absolutely, but 
I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. Uh, oh, this was um, pastel pencils too. I just haven't gotten in. I was doing little sections at a time and it got overwhelming with all the brown. I haven't finished her. I really like doing the green skin. That was polychromos. I was trying to learn faces. That was a failed experiment. And I haven't done anything with him. Except for painting the background. Metamorphia number two. Looks like I've only done one thing in here. And that was... No, I've done more than this. Yeah. See? See? I know. I know. Alright. So, here, here in Kitsune. Kitsune. Did some of this on stream. It was super fun. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. It was a whole bunch. Interesting. And then this was all done with Tombow markers. Every last bit of it. Every last little bit was Tombow markers, except for the background. I think that's it. I've started on this and then stopped. The Neo Color 2s. And my last myth. No, I got another myth of Morphia. Holy mole. Okay. I know I've got four, but like I didn't think I'd colored in all four. So this one's my colored pencil only book. So this is Polychromos. I liked it. I liked, um, I was using Katrine's, uh, color palette. Let's see. Oh, yes. This was fun. This was with Marco Renoir's. If you're curious, the Lyra's and the Marco Renoir's are pretty similar. I liked the sea foam that I managed to get on him. It was a really fun, fun picture. I really liked it. It was really good. And then I haven't done anything to his neighbor. Not much, at least. And this, this double page. Oh, it was so much fun. What was I using? So the background was Koinor. Background was Koinor. And I think I used Pablo's on the rest of it. It was super fun. I put stickles. Put stickles on all their wings. They shine. They're shiny. See? Shiny. Oh, and I did the water over there too. Aren't I special? I enjoyed that. And that's all I've done in that one. Mythomorphia number four. And you can stop laughing now. Those are my Pegasus. Pegasi. I did a while ago. This was Derwent Color Soft, the the clouds, but then the rest was Prisma Color. Sure, we'll go with that. Where did I put my date? Oh lordy, did I not date this one? Oh, I guess I didn't. Shame on me. I really like I really like knowing when I did it. You know? Shame on me. Let's see, what else? This is another failed experiment. I'm really not having good luck with her. This was fun. So this was... Everything was um, polychromos except for the background. The background was the Crayola Twistable Pencils. And it turned out really good. I thought. So, that was fun. But she's all phthalo, phthalo greens. And then look, she's got staples on her tail. 
her tail stickled. Let's see what else. I haven't done anything with him. That's it. That's all of my Mythomorphias. Romantic Country, the second. They're out of order. No, you're out of order. Uh, I did this for Christmas. This was all polychromos. I do not like polychromos on this paper. That's why the, the back here and the stonework was done with Prismacolor. I much prefer Prismacolor in these books. And then the Easter one that I did on stream. Uh, no, not on stream. I did it as a color along. Yes, I did this as a color along. So you can find all the parts on my on my YouTube. The third tail. Did some of this on the streams. Had fun with this. It was cute. I just wanted something simple and easy and just went for it. It was all Prismacolors. I'm working on this. Um, I started it last year at Christmas. I was trying to really do some work with my lighting so you see where the the lighting the candles are all causing the reflection and stuff so i was really working on that um so i'll probably pick this back up at christmas time because i was having a lot of fun with it and i kept all my notes right here so hopefully i'll i'll pick that back up Just a few more books, three more. All right, Romantic Country, the first tale. And this is the only page I did in this. This is Prismacolors and then Pastel Background. I liked it. I thought the, the orange roofs were cool. Um, not my best, but I, I still think it's cute. And of course, I did date it. I did date it. Magical Jungle by Joanna Basford. I've only finished this picture. This was done with my polychromos and some pastels, though they're so light you can't tell. Oops, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze there. And then my other Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, the second of three. I did this. I did the background here as a tutorial on my web page here and I did all this with Prismacolors that was super fun did these with the Ergo Softs and I started the Ergo Softs over here um, but just something cute and sweet and fun and that is everything I promise one of these days I will get better. Um, I'm sorry I won't see you guys tomorrow. I'm really, unless I'm like pop up the, tomorrow morning, I'm just like, ah, it's a great sunny day. Um, I don't foresee that happening. I tend to stay sick for about a week. Um, but I, I just, I just want you guys to every now and then in the, in the groups I see where somebody will make disparaging remarks and it's become such a norm in our society that um we make these remarks that we don't take them for um the negativity that they are and it's negativity towards ourselves and i i try to be good about it um i'm not perfect i will unwittingly say things that I probably shouldn't or don't actually mean um, everybody's you know everybody does it I just think we should take a minute and we should really enjoy our progress on our work and just our work in general um, it's meant to be fun it's meant to be enjoyable it's meant to just help people relax or you know, some people it works their mind and some people it's, you know, it's just, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't already click the bell for any notifications 
If you wish to have a link to any of the books shown here today, uh, please let me know and I will definitely get you a, uh, a link. And that is all. Thank you, everybody. Bye.